I wanna run up the money in love with the music I do it with passion. Yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer in love with the fashion. Yeah. I'm gonna walk with the money, they calling me my phone feeling like Jackson. Hey, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we do have something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a DIY today, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to dye your jeans now we're gonna be doing a yellow pair and a red pair i'm gonna explain throughout the video obviously but if you're new to the channel take a second out of your day hit that subscribe button because we pretty much post like every single day we've been grinding like crazy go follow our instagram at paul.souls um, by the time this video comes out we're probably very close to 10k so you know it would mean a lot if you can go follow the instagram we're trying to hit 10,000 on there and this is the pair I made before if you guys saw the other video where we went to Walmart So this is a very cheap DIY. You don't have to go crazy with money or anything Literally, you can do one pair for the I think like $20 max It's gonna be I'll tell you all the prices and all that stuff But this pair we did right here Um, this was a light light blue pair of denim from Walmart and I wanted to make it purple and like a like a bright purple like a vibrant purple though not like just like not this and it came out kind of like this it kind of looks navy you know it, you, it kind of looks purple i guess it kind of has a purplish tinge but they look very cool on i'm not gonna lie but this is just not the color i wanted i wanted like a vibrant pair of jeans something bright but so we're gonna be doing a red and a yellow and we're gonna see how they come out i feel like the red's gonna come out a little bit darker it might be like a dark red um and then the yellow is probably gonna turn into almost a greenish color nope uh, the yellow i'm very excited to see I'm cutting to when I go pick up all the materials. Boom. Jeans, jeans, jeans. All right, we got a problem. They don't got my size. They don't have my size, so we might have to buy a different pair of jeans. Just need light jeans, but these ones are like mad expensive. It's Wrangler. They're like 30. They're like freaking. I mean, they're not that expensive. I'm dragging. It's like $17, but the other ones are 10, and the other ones were like nice. So we got one pair. The pair I got last time were 32, 34, but I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make the waist smaller. All right, boom, this is the dye. So they don't have any pink, which is the, what I was gonna do because in case you don't know, I wanted to make purple jeans and I got purple last time, but it came out too dark. So you guys probably already saw in the intro. So I think we're gonna go with yellow for this, but I don't know what other colors. Should I get blue? But like jeans are already blue. So I don't, I don't, I don't wanna do that. Cause like the other ones already came out kind of blue. So I think we're gonna get yellow. They have red and green. I wanna get two colors, but I don't know. I'm definitely getting yellow, but I don't know if I should get red or green. I feel like green, should I get, I feel like this is gonna come out green. Cause you gotta remember that it's probably not gonna come out the same color as what you get. So we're kind of just playing a guessing game. So I think I'm just gonna go with red. I think we're gonna go yellow and red. Boom, I got another bucket cause I'm gonna be doing two jeans at the same time. Cause I already have one bucket. So yeah, get a bucket to, you know, fill the water and put the dye in. Bob, you'll see everything. I need elastic strips to make the jeans tighter. But I don't remember where I got it last time when I was in here. I think it's somewhere over here. So I'm gonna look. It's elastic strips. Like I'll show you. I'll show you when I find it. I was, oh look, and there's dye back here too. But this is like I think this is for different stuff. I don't know what. But there's dye. So more dye. You got teal. We got aqua. Okay, okay. Oh, they got purple. Oh, we already used purple. Duh. And it came out not even purple. I couldn't find any elastic in Walmart, so it looks like we're gonna have to go to another store. Twenty-five dollars later. Twenty-five pulled up to Leanne's. This is the elastic I was talking about. She had the elastic, so I went and I scooped it real quick. Because I already have one at home, but I needed another one because I just got a new pair of jeans. Oh, shoot! Pop smoke! So, as you saw by all the materials we picked up, I'm going to tell you all the prices. Run it down real quick before we even get into it. $10 for a pair of Walmart jeans. Get the George pair. Now, this pair... I, and get them, get them a little bit baggier. Get them a bigger size than what you would normally get. Trust me. Because even though the waist might be a little bit big, I tried to get the smallest waist possible, even though it wasn't my actual waist size. This is a 32. I'm a 30. I know I'm skinny, but it's a 30 I normally get. But we did get a 32, and the length on these is 34, which is kind of my normal length. But since it is like you know a wider, wider jean, it is gonna be pretty baggy. It's gonna look like that. Now you're probably like, well, why would you get a wide waist? We're actually gonna be fixing the waist size and we're gonna be making it smaller that's what we're gonna use um all of this for right here so yeah but this will be the last thing i'll show you in the video it is a uh how do i explain it's elastic it's elastic guys this is all elastic which we will be putting in the pants i'll show you how to cut in that but first we're gonna focus on the dyeing so as i was saying ten dollar jeans from walmart dye is four something so we'll say what is rounded up to five so ten five boom fifteen already that's the dye and the pants, literally two of the steps. You can just use a bucket if you already have one. I didn't have a bucket, so I bought a bucket. Um, I bought two buckets because I wanted to do them at the same time. Uh, so the bucket is $3, so that's 17 Wait, that doesn't matter. That's $18. Then, if you don't have a pin, 
um, you're gonna need this as well. These things are all cheap. These things are like literally you can buy in like a pack. It's like sewing stuff. If you just have sewing materials around your house or you're just chilling with that, then you can definitely use this. But we get to that when we need it. So you're gonna need this. The elastic is like two dollars. Um, that's if you want to make it smaller at the waist. But if you already fit in it, then you're chilling. But if you want to get that baggy look, then go up a size, obviously. But to fix the inseam, um, I mean the the waist, you're gonna need a clothespin. You're gonna, which is you can buy clothespins for like 99 cents, like a whole bag of them. So this right here the elastic which comes in like a thing like this the elastic and you're gonna need a button and then sewing and then like that stuff so all together if you don't have this stuff already which i feel like a lot of you probably already have at home so you're chilling but let's say you bought all that fresh most is gonna come out to is like 23 24 dollars we'll round it up to 25 to make a pair of cool dyed jeans that are gonna look dope on you and yeah so i'm gonna show i still gotta put the inseam on this so i'm gonna show you guys that after we dye the two other pairs um so yeah Boom, this is this pair we're gonna put in the inseam but first we're gonna cut to when we dye the jeans Frank, my so this is a little break as you saw we had to wait 24 hours now so it's still the same day um but yeah so in 24 hours we will go back to the jeans we will see what like see we'll see what they look like we're gonna rinse them out throw them in the washing machine i'll tell you how to do all of that stuff and then we'll put the in we'll put the thing in tomorrow the the elastic in tomorrow and then yeah then we'll try them on at the end of the video see how they look let me know down below i'm probably gonna post instagram pictures in them and all that stuff but yeah so cut into tomorrow all right y'all so it is the next day now the yellow ones are in the wash right now which i'm pretty sure i showed you how to wash by now all this stuff showed you all that but we are going to be showing you how to do the elastic on the top of the jeans so when you do get that oversized jeans you know the waist still fit but you still get that baggy look because obviously you could get a belt but then it's gonna you can use a belt obviously but it's gonna scrunch up too much so you just get it so it actually fits to your waist you put the elastic through which i will show you in the next clip but here are the red ones boom again i'm gonna show you everything on so you can get a better look here are the red ones right here and then we have the navy ones from the first day obviously but now it has the scrunchy thingy in the elastic which i will show you in a second and then the yellow ones they i mean they're in the wash still so i still got to see when they dry and come out and everything but i don't think they came out that good to be honest not what i wanted at least um but we'll still see if we can make them work but definitely i messed with the red and then obviously the blue of course um blue almost purplish color so yeah let me know what colors you think i should try next and then again i'm going to show you the elastic part of it and then we'll get to the, the try on for it so you guys can see how you like it. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video. I chose right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to put in the elastic. So first thing is spread the jeans so you don't, you know, you don't cut through the whole jean. You just wanna cut on the inside so you can get the little loop. So boom, you're gonna cut it big enough to the elastic. So make sure you think so because you're gonna be able to, you're gonna have to fit the elastic through. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, you know, cut it a little bit bigger, cut it to the size that whatever your elastic is, because elastic can range in size, so boom, fits. Now this is what that pin was for, or the clothes pin. It's called a clothes pin, right? Yeah, yeah. So you put it through so that way you can feel where the elastic is, because you're gonna have to bring it through the whole entire jeans this is probably the longest part or just like the most annoying part i guess i could say because like bro this thing took like 20 minutes for me to just get all the way through but it's okay it's a okay because then boom once you get to the other side same spot where that one is on the opposite side this time you're gonna cut through so that way you can pull it through so boom now you got the elastic all the way through the jeans then you're gonna put them on and you're gonna figure out how tight you want them and cut two holes on each side so you make it try them on though obviously so you know where to go then this is where the needle and thread come in so get your sewing stuff and you're gonna sew the button down so that way you could you could adjust it boom so it is like a couple days later the blue ones fire the red ones fire these came out so bad i don't know if it's because i used a different jean i don't know if it just it looks like somebody peed all over the jeans so we're not even going to try these on and show you guys just know 
complete fail and it got stained with red somehow i don't even know how that happened but yeah so if you enjoyed let me know down below i might do a part two so get this video to 400 likes and just get this video to 400 likes if you mess with me um because i'm trying to average like 400 likes a video but from now on i'm gonna bleach the jeans first and then dye them after i don't know I'm, i don't think i'm gonna keep doing this though because like i already got the two colors i really wanted which was blue and red i wanted purple but like obviously this didn't really come out that purple um but i might do a pink i don't know yet might do just one more and try the bleach thing to see if it helps with the color so if you do want to try it yourself maybe you know bleach the jeans first then do it but yeah this is my video on diy um get rid of these that, that those are pissed jeans but we got two very good in my opinion pairs of jeans i like the fit of them again we fixed up this you know we got that baggy look with it so yeah i'm gonna show you with the feet like all that stuff and yeah so go follow the instagram there's probably a picture out and maybe both by now or maybe one of them so yeah at paul dot souls and all that stuff so if you enjoyed leave a like on this video because this was like a couple day video and yeah so now cutting into the try on and yes i know i'm skinny Me whenever you don't hit back, and I swear that I don't get that. Honestly, no, I don't feel that. 